Yeah, so we just got our cardio done while we're waiting for our video to upload and process. Gonna finish the details on that. And then we're gonna be hitting high volume, nasty CT Fletcher, Micro Sheet type chest day. Oh, one final thing. This will not be fasted. I'm about to have a pre-workout here in a couple minutes because I wanna test all three. So we're doing back and we're doing back and leg day. We're, we did it non-fasted with the pre-workout. First, we're gonna do the exact same workout, set for set, rep for rep this coming week. So I might as well do the same thing with chest. And I think I may do it with shoulders as well. And then we'll just have a, I think that'll be fun and see the difference. All right, bros, so for dinner, we're gonna do something a little different, but a kind of a take on the same classic. We're just gonna make a nice turkey breast roast. So this turkey breast is 2.75 pounds. Uh, so at least two pounds of meat. Sounds like, sounds about right. So we will be eating this whole thing. Bam. We're gonna make this more like a roast as opposed to where we normally put the onions and all that down. So yeah, so real simple. Still semi-frozen, which is perfect because that just makes it cook even better. When we got the oven, I'll show you. It's like at around 250, I kind of have to judge it because you can't see it below 275. That's normal. <clears throat> Coat it with oil. And this is avocado oil, but that helps all the spices and stuff uh, fit, especially when it's semi-frozen. We'll keep the spices simple. Lots of good salt. <clears throat> there we go. Of course, garlic. Good old garlic. Favorite seasoning there is. Lots of good garlic. There we go. <clears throat> Onion powder. This one, we're gonna put some of this on there. Mm, chipotle powder. And this is Mrs. Dash, Mrs. Dash lemon powder. Now we're not going to make a broth, but we're going to put enough, we're going to put like that much water in there so that it steams it. And it still will make a broth and we're going to drink that broth, but the whole read point of it is to create a steam. It's just going to sit there and steam at like 250 degrees. So you see there's not that much water in there. It's just enough. Just enough. All right. Oh, yeah. We're starting to tan nicely when we were burnt, fellas. Looks like Operation Tan is going to happen. Hell yeah. <laughs> another couple of those walks, which I'm thinking tomorrow we're going back out there and we're doing another hike. Yeah. And now we just sit there and let that bake. Right at, as you can see, that's 300, so it's right up, it's somewhere around 250. We just let that sit for a good two to four hours. I don't know, I've never cooked a turkey breast, so, but I'm thinking probably around three hours, so that's why I'm saying two to four. But I will let you know we're putting this in at two o'clock on the dot. Driving in my drop top, cruising. All right, I'll see y'all for chest. <clears throat> All right, bros, here we go. That was a little janky, but hey, it's gonna work. Um, oh, shit, hold on. Hold on. I need to warm up my shoulder. I forgot to warm up my shoulders. All right, shoulders a little warmed up now, so I don't know what to expect with this. I know with push ups, I use a lot of shoulders, bench press, it's 
it was a little harder so I think I'm always going to be stronger in a push up is a, con a direct conversion to bench press I think or at least now I am even when my elbow is tucked I use a lot of shoulder in my push ups which is fine that's just what my body naturally does is because I have naturally big shoulders I mean yeah they're not big now I've only been lifting for seven months and really seriously with four months so these are all still baby muscles but I know my mom used to tell me I was wearing toddler clothes when I was six months old because my shoulders are so wide. I've always had big wide shoulders. Just never developed them until now. So <clears throat> it's going to be fun to see how they grow over the years. But in any case, the point of that is, uh, well, actually, I'm not, on this, I'm not even really going to be focusing too much on technique. We're just getting as many reps as we can, really, until we just can't go anymore. I don't know that I'm going to, I'm not counting anything. I don't even know that I'm timing anything. I'm just going to push. This is just a CT Fletcher slash Mike Rashid type fucking high rep, high volume chest day. 150 honestly may even be too much. I mean, because Mike Rashid's what, like four or 500 pound bencher, same way with CT Fletcher. And, you know, they would use, <clears throat> they, they did, did, did this with like 225 was their main weight they did it with. Uh, so my thinking is my my max is probably right at 315 give or take 20 pounds I don't know this seems right 150 and we'll adjust it if we need to but I don't think I think this will be fine and we're just gonna we're just gonna push until our chest can't go anymore all right, all right here we go <clears throat> 150 pounds high volume press day let's see how it goes <clears throat> And I push the weights out kind of like I did with my squats. So I can have a wider grip if I want. I'm going to see how it feels. I'm going to try and go a little narrower. But I may just swap my grip. Knowing me, I probably will do some narrows, some mediums, and some wides. I like doing all three when I do pressing. Because I can't really do that with push-ups yet. But that's probably good. Didn't take that quite to failure because technically that's still a warm up, even though it's the same weight. Uh, let my chest recover for a minute and that warm up take effect before I go all the way to failure. Because this is still a movement my body's not used to. I think this is like the third or fourth time I've bench press this whole seven months and so <clears throat> that's a unnatural uh, strain on my shoulders and back and everything <clears throat> but I like that weight that weight is perfect for what I'm trying to do I guarantee you we're going to get it to where we're only doing one or two reps uh, before we have to rest each time Ugh. <sighs> 
I gotta sit up on these rests to rest my back. Whew. Can't stress that enough. Whew. That is unnatural, unfortunately. That is on the, one of the next to-do lists is getting a bed with the adjustable frame so I can start sleeping in a bed. I, mean, I sleep like a baby in my chair, but <clears throat> I've always given myself a few year timeline before I needed to get a bed. Okay. Here we go. Do a little narrower on this one. See how that feels. We're actually gonna let. Let's go wide, baby. Let's try wide. I think that's probably the perfect width because my arms are staying, they're not bent in, they're 45. Oh. That's hitting the chest. Oh. Yeah, my triceps. I've always been a tricep dominant pr bench presser. Oh, that's because that's kind of how I've always held it. Whereas right there, man, that's chest. Oh yeah, hold on. Whew. I have no idea how many, I have no idea how many reps I'm doing, but we're going to keep going. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Alright, we'll try a narrower one now. Oh. But I'm loving how this bench feels, it's like perfect. This is gonna be nasty. It's already getting nasty. I can already feel it. Ooh. Here we go. We're gonna go wide again. I think we're just gonna keep cycling through those wide, middle, not necessarily narrow, but <clears throat> narrower. Getting some sit-ups in too. Whew. Oh yeah. Very happy with this bench. Very happy with this setup. This feels beautiful. Way better than I was hoping and expecting. Absolute W. Well, I can see some nasty supersets with push-ups in this in the future. Now we can start doing a favorite tricep exercise of all. Narrow grip bench. <clears throat> I don't know that I'll do that today because I'm doing so many regular presses, but medium grip. This should be fun when I watch this back, because I ain't counting nothing, so I have no idea how many sets I've done, how many reps I've done. Whew. 
didn't have it lined up properly. There we go. I'm excited to see how two weeks of this translates to push-ups. <clears throat> Which I mean, this is kind of basically just like doing push-ups. High, you know, I just can't do this uh, much volume. I mean, I guess it'd be like doing knees. You know, <clears throat> this would just be like doing a bunch of these, like on my knees. Mm. There we go. Why? Well, literally taking less than 30 seconds. The next one. I will. I won't edit it or anything, so you can see how what my actual rest is. Because obviously, I'm editing those out, you know, because no one's got time to be sitting there for 30 seconds each, each just staring at me. So, <clears throat> so yeah. So the next one, I'm gonna do this, and the next, I'll just show the whole rest period, so you can see it uncut and unfiltered. <sighs> oh, this is your wide. I felt strong on that next to last wide one. Oh, it makes sense because what I've everything I've seen, you want your elbow, you want your arms like that, 45 degree angle. Whereas my, I've always had my arms more like this when I benched. I think maybe that's why I've naturally taken to overhead press because that's about how I narrow head press. Whereas bench, it seems like I think I'm stronger right here. Whew. All right, next set, medium. Let's do one more rest period. Oh, but yeah. Oh, I'm from, I like how strong I can see. I can feel where the push-ups are because I have my push-up is is wide. My natural push-up position is wide, but I've always benched fairly narrow because I was taught with my third ring finger on the ring. So, but I'm thinking my strong. I'm strongest with a little wider of a grip. Ooh. All right, next set, narrow. Oh, this one fucking really scoops the arm. Okay. There's so much sweat where my feet are, it's like I can't even press down anymore. It's just a puddle, it's not even a floor. Oh, shit. Ooh, I almost 
almost failed that one. You can hear that. <laughs> it's just like a puddle, bro. That's in <laughs> Well, I mean, look at that. Woo! I think this needs to be a staple chest day at least once a month. Oh, yeah. I need to roll it forward. I don't know how many I've done, but my shoulder didn't like that one. It didn't hurt or anything, it just didn't want to go. It's gassed. It's good. That means, that means this is where we're really just getting started now. At the end of the day, what we've done up to this point was just the warm up. Now we go to work. This is where they're starting to get difficult. The reps are dropping. Now we go to work, baby. Now we go to work. Now. <laughs> It'll be interesting at the end of this, see what our total time pressing is. You know, how many, how much time did we spend pressing under tension? Oh, I guess other than just manually calculating, I don't know how how would how would check that, but whew, that'd be interesting. Uh, so that's the kind of things I think about. Whew, that's why my gains are so explosive and crazy because I just think of random shit like that. Not that there's anything special and no one else has thought of that, obviously. But just that kind of thought is a great example of why I come off with some wacky shit. Obviously, I didn't come up with this. I got this from uh, Mike Rasheed, C.D. Fletcher. But this is, also, this is also taking the principle of always apply my flutter raises. Whew. Whew. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Now I really feel how tight my shoulders are. Holy shit. This whole area, like if this was just a strap going to my, my traps, it's like whoosh over from here to like right there, just whoosh, it's just blown up right now. I'm like here all the way to my scapula and my back is just blown up. Oh, doing that really just made me feel how pumped I am from here all the way to my scapula. That's badass. Okay, wide again. baby Ooh, no one can say we ain't working <sighs> we ain't perfect but there ain't a serious motherfucker on planet earth who can say we ain't working at the end of the day that's all that matters Ooh. <sighs> I'm surprised I'm not losing more strength that's kind of crazy we're gonna keep going it's, uh, it's all those fasted workouts even though we're not fasted I just feel that gear kick in like a couple of sets ago, I just didn't want to talk about it. I don't know. I just can't explain it. Kind of like you can't explain hitting hamstrings on RDLs or anything. You just got to feel it and flex in your pecs. There's another one. I can't even do it right now. That's how pumped. I can never do it when I'm pumped hardly. All right. Medium.
crazy. We just keep going and going like fucking Energizer Bunny. All right, we're gonna do narrow, and we're gonna take our normal like 30 second break, and then we're gonna do some when we don't sit up. We're gonna do them like our flare race is only like five or 10 seconds in between. Cause we're not burning out fast enough. So I think we're gonna up it to we do our wide, middle, narrow, and then we take like a 30 second break. Oh, oh wow, triceps are done. Y'all not entertained? sweat baby all right here we go on this one again we're doing a wide medium narrow but instead of sitting up each time and doing like a 30 second rest in between we're gonna go wide five or ten seconds middle five or ten seconds narrow five or ten seconds just like our our flutter raises we're gonna do all three back to back to back and that's gonna be uh one rep and then we'll rest another 30 45 seconds or whatever then we'll rest another 30 seconds or whatever all right. All right. All right. All right. Ooh. All right. Let's go. I like what I've been doing. We're just gonna cut the rest out to 20 seconds. And we're getting our sit-ups in, baby. We never do sit-ups. I actually should do that because I can actually do quite a bit of sit-ups, believe it or not. If you wanna see me do an AM wrap of sit-ups, let me know in the comments. So from here on out, we're just going wide, narrow. We'll cut out the middle man. We're just going straight to the source, baby, for our chest and straight to the source for our triceps. Oh, 
We gotta finish it off with one grunge set. <laughs> look at this, so it's so. I've been wearing black. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, look at that. Just tell me that ain't sweat, baby. Ooh, yeah. Ooh, ooh. You wanna know why I'm gonna get? I'm getting crazy results. This right there. Don't let the genetic thing be an excuse. It's all relative. I guarantee you, anybody on the planet does this. They're gonna get results. <laughs> I'll show the puddles at the end. That's crazy. That's crazy. All right, here we go. Final set of bench. We're going wide grip, and we're just gonna. We're just gonna. What? What? <laughs> Come on. Come on. We're not done. Okay, bros, here we go. Woo. Our triceps are blown up already from all the pressing. <clears throat> so we're just gonna do one nasty set of <sighs> dumbbell extensions, skull crushers, whatever you wanna call them. So gas bros. Come on, we got it. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> 
says one hour. So there's probably what 10, 15 minutes worth of talking in there. That's at least at the minimum 30 minutes of pure pressing. They don't even know what we're throwing at them, bro. They don't even know what we're throwing at them. We're coming at them with everything. Woo! Look at that. Woo! Look at them triceps, baby. Woo! Woo! Oh. Look at that chest, baby. Woo! Woo! We don't even need to take our shirt off. Woo! Look at that. That is... Woo! That ain't fat, boy. Our, our shirt is tight around our triceps just because they're so pumped. <laughs> <laughs> and if you think that's rigged, the whole vlog is on YouTube, baby. Every fucking drop of that is pure sweat from hundreds of reps on bench press. Woo! Woo! Tribute to CT motherfucking Fletcher, baby. Whoa. See, it was 2 o'clock when we put it in there. It's like 5.30. Three and a half hours. So I'm just about right. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Look at that roast, y'all. Because we're going to baste this and then we're going to let it sit. Because I just had my protein shake. I just got done with chest. And uh, had my protein. So I want to let my protein, because that's lean. It's just pure protein. There's no fat or anything in it. <clears throat> so I want to let that cook. You know, I like to wait like an hour, at least an hour or two after. So... I'm going to wait about another hour and then we're going to eat and this will just continue to sit here and steam and it'll be nice and perfect. There's a reason I make this so often bros in one way or another because it is amazing. Plus this is a real lean day. The only fat is like two and a half tablespoons of butter I just put in there to add a little flavor and this little bit of skin. This is like probably less than 50 grams of fat for the whole day and this is... Uh, I have to look it up, but I guess it's got to be 200, 250 grams of protein on top of the 100 grams of whey. So, super lean day. Going to start throwing those in there we're once or twice a week. We just have a real lean, high protein day. And then the rest of the five or six days will just be normal. But I think that'll be nice. A protein sparing fast or whatever you want to call it. I did end up having a tub of full cottage cheese and some pork rinds, but still less than half the fat I normally eat in a day.